Hello everyone, today is going to be a very special video as this creation was made for the grand finale episode of MasterChef Australia that aired last night. The creation is composed with a delicious moist hazelnut coffee financier sponge on which I'm adding a layer of soft coffee creamer. To add a little bit of peps to the dessert, I'm adding one of my favorite elements, a coffee vanilla caramel that will ooze out slowly out of the dessert. It's made with a strong caramel, deglazed with an infused cream and a shot of espresso cooked to the right consistency. Look at this beautiful stringy texture. I pipe an even layer on top of the coffee creamer to make sure the ratio between all the elements will be just right. The next step is the making of a light chocolate mousse that will surround our insert and bring a lot of richness to the ensemble. For extra indulgence and to bring an additional layer of texture, I'm adding to the base of the dessert a double chocolate chip cookie. Don't worry, I ate the scrap, I do not throw anything away. Once the cake has been unmolded, I can glaze it with the delicious dark chocolate glaze before dipping it into chocolate to create a very thin layer of texture that will also help for the overall structure of the dessert. I then stamp the glaze with a little bit of gold dust to create the numbers and I can begin the crafting of all the visual elements out of chocolate, starting with the bezel that will hold the final touch, the sugar lens. Once added, I can focus on crafting the crown, which I make out of multiple casted elements all glued together. This usually is my favorite part. I love browsing through my mold and imagining the final look using a variety of shapes. I find the perfect spot to add my stamped logo, then I can finally color everything in gold and attach it to the dessert. Next, I'm going to focus on the clock hands using my custom-made 3D printed silicone mold. Once all the elements that compose the center are done, I can glue them all together with the help of a tweezer and finally add it to the center of the dessert. We finally get to the fun part, the sugar lens. Using an airtight bucket and a single layer of plastic wrap, I am slowly inflating the sugar dome by pressing evenly and slowly on the metal ring. Once the dome has cooled down, I can then trim the bottom to make a perfect flat edge and add it as a final touch of the dessert. I really like the upscale look of this one. And the flavor is everything I love about a rich dessert. This sure made a great challenge for the finalist of MasterChef Australia. Tell me in the comment section below if you have more questions about this creation. See you soon everyone!